Okay, let me just walk you through a few slides to show the evidence and the proof that my friend Charles Dyer was a nationwide attention and during a um, the time he had left and did not show up for court. This is why I originally called Ed Snook to hopefully have him hired to help. There were nationwide manhunt that was launched by the FBI within hours. They had digital billboards put up all the way from Canada to Mexico with his face on it. Um, here's a picture of the billboards. There's lots of evidence of Charles Dyer all of a sudden becoming on top of the FBI's America, America's Most Wanted list. Um, the FBI had posters up of him all over the country. Um, here's a taken from the FBI website saying, Special Agent Rick Rains, if anyone sees this man, to contact the phone number by the FBI. Um, it says law enforcement um, is you know looking for him. There were SWAT team raids going on. I was in the middle of a SWAT team raid. Here he is on you know mainstream media news, searching for Charles Dyer. Here's the SWAT team um, in Texas. FBI has a search tool for fugitives. Here's another posting on the FBI website showing you know that they were very much involved, and this was all done unlawfully without the proper warrant. The FBI should never be involved in a state situation and should surely not be sending out armed um, SWAT teams with AR-15s into people's homes. So this is the during the time I first contacted Ed Snook for help. I knew that this was unlawful and I thought that he was the kind of man who would, would step in and do whatever he claims he can do to help push back when authorities or when government agencies are overstepping their positions of authority. And instead, I give all this information to Ed Snook a year later, and he ends up writing this kind of stuff about me publicly, he says, and he's the writer, he's the author of this little blurb. It says, this writer's opinion is that she is a government informant and a very dangerous one at that. The people that we are aware of and that she has infiltrated are outstanding Americans who have left themselves open to false allegations and slander by their association with SWAN. According to one of U.S. Observer's sources, an FBI agent attempted to file charges against Swan for illegally taping him, and he couldn't get charges filed. The only answer I could come up with is that Swan has some substantial protection from the legal system. I have also been informed that her PACER record has been sealed. The U.S. Observer would get to the bottom of Swan's alleged federal protection. So right here, this shows you the kind of man Ed Snook is. I mean, when I first hired him, I, I gave him a lot of evidence. And the recording that he's talking about is right after I was raided by a SWAT team during this manhunt. Um, I was, you know, had 30 Gestapo kind of style men come in and raid um, and raid the home I was vacationing in. And then I get an FBI right after the raid was finally over and they wrapped their whole, you know, thing up and left many hours later. And I get a phone call and it's uh, FBI agent out of uh, Oklahoma. And so I recorded my conversation. And I gave this recording to Edward Snook, and he heard the recording, and then he's going to try to use it against me later, call me a lunatic, declare everything I'm doing as being just in my imagination, and never mentioning that, that um, you know, the uh, involvement of the FBI in my friend's case. And then, at the very end, trying to get me in trouble for recording the FBI. You know, I mean, this man is just uh, very, uh, very dangerous, like he plays both sides of the fence like he's doing, and this needs to be exposed.